Christ is risen, and you say, the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Very good. Let's try it one more time. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning. It is Easter Sunday. Today is the day that everything changes. What had been our purple waiting season on our circle of the church year has now turned to the color of pure celebration. Jesus died but has risen from the grave and that changes everything. Here to tell us a little more about it is our own Miss Anne from our preschool godly play class. Take a look. The cross of Lent is sad. Jesus grew up to be a man and died on the cross. That is sad, but it is also wonderful. Now look what happens. Jesus died on the cross, but somehow he is still with us. That is why Easter is not just sad, it's also wonderful. Lent is sad. Easter is pure celebration. Easter turns everything inside out and upside down. The color of getting ready becomes the color of pure celebration. The sad seriousness and happiness join together to make joy. And look, you can't keep Easter in just one Sunday. It goes on for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, all the way to Pentecost. So just as Miss Anne said, what had been the waiting or sad cross of Lent, our Lenten cross, has now become the wonderful, mysterious cross of Easter. So we are going to change our own cross. We're going to take away our candles and you notice instead I have a new candle here. This candle is called a Christ candle or a Paschal candle, and it brings Jesus's light into this one place to remind us of Jesus's presence with us on this wonderful Easter Sunday. On our cross, we can move. We remember always these stories, but instead, we are going to make this a joyful cross. You can even take off your red ribbon if you want to. Mine's kind of in a knot. There you go. And the last thing we have in our baggies. This is an old tradition called flowering the cross. And we add flowers to our cross to remind us how this is now a symbol of the new life that Jesus has rising from the dead. And we use flowers because flowers are also here in springtime. You might want to add yours around the outside of your cross. Maybe you want to add them here to the middle, kind of like I'm doing. Maybe you'll even want to use some other art tools to decorate or color your cross. Friends, Easter is a time for celebrating and joy. So won't you join me for a minute in one of our favorite children's church songs, the Hallelujah song. I'll be the Hallelujahs, you be the praises. Are you ready? Remember, you can stand up and be as noisy as you like on this one. Miss Barbara says it's okay. Here we go. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Your turn. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Very good. Excellent singing. Friends, today I'd like to teach you a new prayer for our Easter season. I will say the part and then you will repeat after me. Are you ready? Alleluia, alleluia, we shout with glad voice. Alleluia, alleluia, we shout with glad voice. With heaven and earth we join to rejoice. With heaven and earth we join to rejoice. Jesus, our Lord, is risen today. Jesus, our Lord, is risen today. God's love and light have come now to stay. God's love and light have come now to stay. Amen. Sunday, friends, I hope you have a wonderful day celebrating Christ's love for us on this beautiful Easter. I will see you next week when we hear the next part of the story. Bye-bye.